Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever ask yourself the question, what can a 2.9 inch gun do? Look no further. For today, in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought, in our Austrian campaign, we have the Leopard. And Leopard has a couple of 2.9 inch guns. Just a couple. On either side. It's together with some 7 inch guns and she is engaging two light cruisers, hopefully. Indeed she is. Tell me. Ooh, you two are badly mauled already. Oh, that is unfortunate, my friends. That is unfortunate. As the first of my two inchers are roaring. Close to distance, please. Stand by for slowdown. Enemy is at what? Six kilometers? Five. Well, we are within two inch range. It would be remiss not to use them now. Open fire. High explosive, armor piercing. Fire at well, all guns. Da -da 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 -dang. Oh, hi. Unfortunately, the enemy ships were badly damaged already. Still, your floatability is 100% right now. Let's see what happens. So far, I scored 10 hits. I got 12. I think it's mostly the 7 inchers today that will do the damage. And again, there comes the return of the 2 inchers. They heard it, and the two inchers won. <laughs> nice. Yeah, these cruisers are not bad. They will do wonders in my fleet, even with the dreadnoughts. These ships will still be vital, I think. It's not often that I have heavy cruisers that I am confident enough about. In the age of dreadnoughts. So, my ground troops are attacking, my ground troops will fail. Naval invasion, western Spain, yes. My fleet decided, you know what, let's combine to two giant task forces rather than the separate fleet that I created for a purpose. In the meanwhile, my heavy cruisers here will continue cleaning up, up to there. So, last episode we designed two new dreadnoughts. We are building them. It's slow going, but before 1900 and, well, around 1901 we should have them. We get another fight with my heavies. I am taking those manually because I don't want to risk losing my heavies. Um, the auto resolve has improved a lot, yes. However, um, there is still a risk. There is still a dice roll, man, in the auto resolve. And these ships, they're very new. And I don't want to l risk losing them. The enemy has spotted me. And I have spotted them. So tell me. 
One of those. Oh, easy target, easy target. Easy prey, I should say. Fire armor piercing rounds. The prey shall not escape me. Although, I suppose... Yeah, 0.3% chance to ban me. Okay. Never mind. I was gonna say maybe the enemy can actually pan me, but not really. Also, that is some nice turning rate this guy has. Tell me, am I in torpedo range? No. Is the enemy into two inch gun range? Why do you ask? Please. Flash fire on the enemy ship. Ha! She's done for. The gun stopped firing. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Job done. Sweden cancelled her alliance with Spain. How rude. <sighs> Nearly 40% chance of success, but oh, hello. Uh, they're all moving out, though. They're all moving out. <clears throat> That's fine. A Spanish convoy over here. D <clears throat> Don't really care. They're trying to retake uh, the Philippines, I think. That would make sense, seeing the position of those battleships there. 13 months. Whew. And that's gonna be a long time before those dreadnoughts are finished. Oh, if I can take Spain, that would be so, so much fun. That would give me such a strong position in Europe. Oh, hello. Gotta take down one. <clears throat> Mass 15, 30 tons displacement. 30 tons. And it sank St. Istvan. St. Ivan, I think? It sounds like Ivan. Also, I believe I have a pretty damn big fleet here. Division 7. Man. That is a big fleet. 
I'm glad I'm just fighting a small enemy task force here, so I don't really have to manage it all. Not as strictly, anyway. Thirteen knots, please. Then again... Let's try to make sure that that does not happen. Well, that one is on me, I admit. Then again, it's just a cobra. And another cobra. No, that's a scorpion. And that one annoys me, though. All cruisers, open fire. Please. Kill that light. That's a heavy cruiser there. Oops. I'll kill it anyway. Ha! Huh. Now this is what happens if you don't uh, organize your fleet properly, people. Tip of the day. Don't. Don't be lazy like I am. Not gonna use my torpedo boats here, so I'm pulling them out. I'm actually tempted to pull this light cruiser group out as well, jeez. Main guns, secondary guns, go. Would be hilarious if the enemy were to retreat now. Torpedo boats form up. Come on, we got plenty of light cruisers here with my beloved four and a half inch guns. We should be able to deal with a cruiser here. Battleship line increased to flank close to distance. I'm done playing around. Hello, torpedo boats. What? Are you guys doing? Ah. We have the bloody bug of the formations. Let's get the sunken ships out of the formation, please. Now the question is, what is the lead ship now? Hmm, okay. <clears throat> what a bloody mess. Stop avoiding, get the ship's information. My god. Fix your bloody game. <laughs> yeah, 
the enemy is kiting and <laughs> they're doing a lot more damage than I do. At least so far. Which is hilarious. I mean, even if they sink one or two of my ships, I still got a decisive advantage. Uh, but it, I, I would be a bit grumpy, I admit. Let's zoom in a bit, shall we? Well, let's appreciate all the shells coming at you. Battleships, all guns. Jesus. You have torpedoes. No, you don't. Good. Battleships, 30 knots. Finally, the heavy cruiser is about to die. My light cruisers are doing... Well, some of them at least. Some of them were not even shooting. They were not even targeting the cruiser. Now they are, though. Now they are. Number two. Well, that was probably the longest battle against two ships I had in a long time. And I lost what? Two? Two torpedo boats? Yeah. Yeah, that was a bit of a disgrace. Honestly, the Admiral of this fleet ought to be shot. Oh, wait. <laughs> Don't shoot me. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hmm, he should get fired at least, but let's not do that either, because otherwise the campaign comes to an end. Okay, Ottoman Empire? No, you're not getting battleships from me, man. Forget about it. Forget about it. Torpedo boat managed to escape me. Moving to intercept, the other cruiser is slowly holding position here to block the Mediterranean off. Spain, if you want to get into the mats, you gotta go the other way around. <laughs> Come on, Western Spain, I want you. Transports. Heavy cruiser. Go. Die. Britain failed to gain control over Costa Rica. Well, you can try to take Costa Rica. In the meanwhile, I'll try to take Spain. Seems reasonable now. Split up that fleet. Oh, 
hoping to get a bit more coverage here on killing enemy sh enemy uh, ships. Um, research. Ooh, that is very useful. Big guns, 9-inch Mark III's coming up. Oh, hello. I got you equipped with 9-inch guns. That'll be fun. That's sad, though. I do want to take a look at my light cruiser designs now. Refit. Look at that. So much room. RV, Falcats, Anti-Flood. Let's keep the Citadel. Double bottom. Yes, please. We can get a new engine in. Sure. Palestine TNT, please. Enhanced reloading. Can I get a 4-inch main belt? Yes, I can. 3-inch main deck. That is a bit too much. Hmm. Yeah, that's... But let's do that. And a bit more Citadel armor. There we go. Slight gun length upgrade for this ship. In fact, plus five percent. And we can turn this into a 5.1 inch gun. Okay, as the comets. Bluity. That is the guy that actually blew up. Want to increase you to 22 knots somehow. I say somehow, okay. I have no idea how I'm going to make this work. Get rid of the mine laying equipment. I do want that. It gives me 50 tons that I have to save somewhere. Well, getting rid of some of the range of these ships gets the job done immediately. Allowing me to get the double hull back in. And even the mine laying equipment back in. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Plus 5% gun length. Save design. And these ships can do 22, well, even though they got low engine efficiency, uh, 22 knots. Does this good? Yeah, does this good? Oh, that was a misclick. I needed to... We can actually refit one ship straight away. Let's do so. Delete the Comet design. Delete Blurdens. Scorpion has not been upgraded yet. Um, let's do so. Just a simple upgrade gives my torpedoes quite a bit of extra range, and I can go to 18 inch. So look at that, 3 kilometer 18 inch torpedoes with a minesweeper. Save design. The battleships, no need to upgrade the battleships I think. We do have the semi-armored cruiser hull, though. Um, 
How about do doing something like that? I want to make you flat, thank you. Flat along. Alright, let's see what we can make of you. Best towers. You need to do at least 22.5 20, knots. Twenty-three knots. Check. Let's bring the range down so we can get a, at least a bit of weight. Four inch, one, one, three inch, one, one, one. All right, two inch main deck, three inch main belt. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Okay. Throw in better engines. That means we can go to a three stack set setup. Okay, main armaments. Four, five, two, yeah, four, five inch guns. That's pretty nice. Casemate guns. Uh, we're not. Okay, let's go back to 22 knots. Yeah, that saves me enough weight to actually make this work, I think. armor okay can we get the double bottom yes we can okay a citadel without armor no no citadel although no no citadel okay fair There we go. With 22 knots, this light cruiser will be able to keep up with the rest of the fleet. Her 5 inch guns and 3 and 2 inch secondary battery will be quite helpful as well. Though I don't think, well, we. I need the dockyards. Sorry. Yeah, let's not build. Let not build them just yet. We got them ready to build, but let's wait a couple of turns until we have some money. A little while later, we are engaging a very small Spanish task force with with one of my invasion fleets. Pardon me. This time I took the actual effort to start um, <laughs> organizing my ships before the battle uh, began. Light cruisers, tighten up formation, please. Mm. 
My new torpedo boats will have a range of 3 kilometer range torpedoes. That means these guys would be in torpedo range already. That would have been fun. So. Freeze game. Almost got to Mallow. Okay. All ships are firing at their proper targets now. Play a smoke screen to hide the battleships there. Start turning. Battleships turn a bit out again. Thank you. Yes, this battleship is being spotted and targeted, and this guy is being killed due to it. Bit disappointed at, uh, at my gars. 13 knots, please, on the battle line. Light cruisers, full back. Flooding hit on the tornado, that's good. Would like another one. Enemy is on low fuel, how? We're like beside their ports. Did you run out of money to buy fuel or something? Okay, let's have some fun. Not necessarily smart, but we're gonna have some fun, okay? Two torpedo boats may move in. In fact, you lock on this torpedo boat. You lock on there. Tornado is indeed breaking formation, that is good. Tornado sinks, that's two. Torpedo away on one side, torpedo away on the other side. Come on, Scorpion. Go for the dual kill. It's worth dying for, man. It's worth dying for. Go, go, go. One kill. Scorpion hits. Eight. Torpedo hits. This time in her aft section. And she's flooding out, yeah. Two kills by the uh, light uh, torpedo boat there. Or no. Target remains. No. She sinks after all. Very well done, very well done. Four ships down. Special mention to my torpedo boat. A 
heavy cruiser. I'm willing to take that risk. Ottomans get lost. I don't like you. Go away. Gizanta. Well done. 40% chance of success. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Three ships. Well, two ships are being repaired. One is being refitted in Mallorca. That will be the first comet of the new design. Oh, if we can take Western Spain, uh, oh, I'll be so happy. I'll be so happy if we can do that. Two turns. In the meanwhile, Badenberg and Habsburg will both go to Pula. Ten million in the minus. Ouch. Didn't think it was that bad. Thought we were only like losing two, three million? Huh. Oh well. Heavy cruiser sank. Willing to auto result. Ooh. What? What? Come on, auto resolve. How does that affect? Not really. Okay. Okay, that that was stupid. I mean, I can accept one ship lo losing, maybe two, but that was like four ships. In terms of money, oh shit! Some of my battleships are being repaired now. I got a battleship being repaired. That's not good. Where? No. Repairing a battleship. Is it? Oh, Jesus. Huh? Oh, hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, I love the auto resolve. Let's be honest. If you're smart, you're not using it. But these are the... Um, well, essentially random events, I suppose, that I do enjoy now and then. It spices things up. All of a sudden, 11 of my ships are decimated. You know, I would like to think there was an admiral, and that admiral decided all ships must be tied together during the night so they can't drift away um, from one another. Um, he has no faith in anchors. Or an admiral that decided to, uh, you know, all engines, turned them off. And then all of a sudden an enemy cruiser showed up. In the middle of the night. And he nuked my fleet. Something like that. And as you might or might not know, it takes quite a while. L no, let's not. It takes quite a while for ships that have their engines turned off to, you know, turn them back on again. Right, where's the third ship that's being silly? Don't tell me you're already here already. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, that's you. Move there. Okay. Five out of six. Let us pray that we can get Western Spain. Also, Spain has been asking for peace deals. So... This is terrifying. Did we get it? What do you think? I think not, but we'll see. Indeed, we did not manage to take it. That's okay. We simply try again. It took two turns to take the other place as well, so...
Hello. Goodbye. Nope. Old gums over there, please. Don't be silly. Slow down. 16 knots. Get old gums to bear. Armor piercing rounds. Open fire. Damage to a main gun. That is a second flooding. Third flooding. Oh, this escort ship is gonna get wrecked, my friends. These cruisers are very good. They are very good indeed. running running in between the transports to no avail hiding for the barest of moments behind no detector now the crew is desperate trying to get onto the other transport Hopes of surviving to no avail. The Austrian guns kept up their devastating fire. And the water was cold this time of year. No idea what time of year it is, actually. Shouldn't be that bad. Give me some Daka. Now this is just fun due to the high numbers that we're gonna see. That's why I'm recording this. <laughs> Hello! I am your Lord and Master, 2.9 inch guns. Anyone who thinks those guns are useless, say that again. Let's take a look. Damage done. Seven inchers have done 8k damage. Two inchers, 62k. I rest my case. And I also rest the lives of many Spanish sailors, I'm afraid. Ooh. Now this is the chance for the 7 inch gun to keep up, to catch up a bit, 9k, only 2 transports remained, desperately they signal their surrender. The Austrians did not reply. No saw. There would be no surrender. No surrender at all. secondary guns to bear. One by one, the two-inch guns started to line up. And more and more fire, like hailstones, descended upon our enemies. It was glorious. So sad the captain of the brigands. A noble ship in the Austrian Navy. The Spanish would have a different name for him. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, comes an end to today's episode. I thank you very much for watching.
Join me next time as we continue our Australian campaign against the Spanish. Until then, as always, take care.